Hello everyone, <clears throat> welcome to another episode of Praise, Promises and Prayer, Ministry J.A. Today we are looking at Deuteronomy. We are reading the first verse of each chapter of the book of Deuteronomy, and Deuteronomy has 34 books, 34 books. Let us open in a word of prayer. Father, God, the Elohim, Lord above Lord, kings above kings, we come to you this morning praising and honoring the many different names you have, dear Lord. We thank you for the ability to read your word. We thank you for this book of Deuteronomy and the 34 chapters that it offers. We pray for your blessing, leading and guiding as we do um, what you have um, um, purposed us to do, dear Lord. We thank you, honor you, and come to you through your son, Jesus' name. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side, Jordan, in the wilderness, in the plain over against the Red Sea, between Paran and Tophel and Laban, Laban and Hazerot and Dizarhab. Deuteronomy 2 and verse 1. Then we turned and took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea, as the Lord spake unto me. And we compassed Mount Siri many days. S-E-I-R, Siri, many days. Deuteronomy 3 and verse 1. Then we turned and went up the way of Bashan and Arg, the king of Bashan, came out against us, he and all his people, to battle at Edrei. Edrei. Deuteronomy 4 and verse 1. Now therefore hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you, for to do them, that ye may live and go in and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers giveth you. Deuteronomy 4 and verse 1. We move on to Deuteronomy 5 and 1, which reads, And Moses called all Israel and said unto them, Hear, O Israel, the statutes and the judgments which I speak in your ears this day, that ye may learn them and keep and do them. Deuteronomy 6, verse 1. Now there, these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments which the Lord your God commanded to teach you, that ye might do them in the land which ye go to possess it. Deuteronomy 7, 1. When the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land whither thou goest to possess it, and has cast out many nations before thee, the Ittites, and the Jerah, Sites and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Perizzites and the Iviites and the Jeborites, even nations greater and mightier than thou. Deuteronomy 8 and verse 1 All the commandments which I command thee this day shall ye observe to do that ye may live and multiply and go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers. Deuteronomy 9 and verse 1. Hear, O Israel, thou art to pass over Jordan this day to go in to possess nations greater and mightier than thyself, cities greater and fenced up to heaven. Deuteronomy 10 and verse 1. At that time the Lord said unto me, He H E W there two tables of stone like unto the first, and come up unto me into the mount and make thee an ark of wood. Deuteronomy eleven and verse one Therefore thou shalt love the Lord thy God and keep his charge and his statutes and his judgments and his commandments always. Deuteronomy 12 and verse 1. These are the statutes and judgments which ye shall observe to do in the land which the Lord 
God of the Father, of thy Father, has given thee to possess it all the days that ye live upon the earth. Deuteronomy 14, verse 1. Ye are the children of the Lord, your God. Ye shall not cut yourselves, nor make any baldness between your eyes for the dead. Deuteronomy 15 and verse 1. At the end of every seven years thou shalt make a release. Deuteronomy 16 and verse 1. Observe the mouth of Abib, A-B-I-B, and keep the Passover unto the Lord thy God, for in the mouth of Abib, the Lord thy God, brought thee forth out of Egypt by night. Deuteronomy 17 verse 1, Thou shalt not sacrifice unto the, the Lord thy God any bullock or sheep wherein is ble- blemish or any evil favorness for that is an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Deuteronomy 18 and verse 1, The priests the Levites and all the tribes of Levi shall have no part nor inheritance which with Israel. They shall eat the offering of the Lord made by fire and his inheritance. Deuteronomy 19 and verse 1. When the Lord thy God has cut off the nations whose land the Lord thy God giveth thee and thou succeeded them and dwell in their city and in their houses. Deuteronomy 20 and verse 1. When thou goest out to battle against thine enemies and seest horses and chariots and the people more than thou, be not afraid of them, for the Lord thy God is with thee, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. Deuteronomy 21 and verse 1. If one be found slain in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee to possess, lying in the field, and it be not known who had slain him. Deuteronomy 22 verse 1. Thou shalt not see thy brother's ox or his sheep go astray, and hide thyself from them. Thou shalt in any case bring them again unto thy brother. Deuteronomy 23 and verse 1. He that is wounded in the stones or has privy member cut off shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. He that is wounded in the stones or has his privy member cut off shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Deuteronomy 24 and verse 1. When a man has taken a wife and married her, and it's come to pass that she find no favor in his eyes because he has found some uncleanness in her, then let him write her a bill of divorcement and give it in her hand and send her out of his house. Deuteronomy 25 verse 1, If there be a controversy between men and they come unto judgment, that thy judges may judge them, then they shall justify the righteous and condemn the wicked. Deuteronomy 26 and verse 1, And it shall be when thou art come in unto the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance, and possess it, and dwell it therein. Deuteronomy 27 and verse 1, And Moses with the elders of Israel commanded the people, saying, Keep all the commandments which I command you this day. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Deuteronomy 29 and verse 1.
reads, These are the words of the, of the covenant that the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel in the land of Moab, besides the covenant which he made with them in Horeb. Deuteronomy 30 and verse 1, 3, 0 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessings and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whither the Lord thy God has given, has driven thee. <laughs> Deuteronomy 31 and verse 1. And Moses went and spake these words unto all Israel. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 1. Give hear, O heaven, and I will speak. And hear, O heard, the words of my mouth. Deuteronomy 33 and verse 1. And this is the blessing where with Moses, the man of God, blessed the children of Israel before his death. And the final one, Deuteronomy 34 verse 1. And Moses went up from the plains of Moab unto the mountain of Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, that is over against Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land of Gilead unto Dan. There ends the reading of the first verse of each chapter, 34 chapters of the book of Deuteronomy. And remember, we have done Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and now Deuteronomy. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading of his word. Amen and amen.